With the winds blowing around again today, I imagine there's going to be a lot more of those pollens in the air. Now, the winds today won't be quite as gusty as we saw this past weekend, but still they'll average about 10 to 15 miles per hour and blowing in from the north, which is still driving in some cooler air. And today's high of 71 will be even lower than what we experienced yesterday. Tonight's temperatures will be the coldest we see this week. Then we start warming up and it's because of high pressure, which is nearby right now, but we're just barely on the east side of it and the winds are going from north to south on the east side of that high. When it transitions to the east coast by Wednesday, then we're seeing winds turn around coming in from the south. Winds go clockwise around high pressure, so that's why the winds change direction. Now we have this front here that's probably just going to pass by uh, north of us on Thursday, and likely that's where the rain is going to be. So as it looks now, I think we stay dry Thursday, but if things change, maybe Thursday's the day where we get a couple of showers around here. Rain chances look pretty low. Temperatures certainly on the low side for this time of year. The average is 83, so we have a couple days in the 70s. We're around average on Wednesday. Then we're going above average at the end of this week, and it's not just the end of this week, but beyond that, the 8 to 14 day temperature outlook, which pretty much takes us into the end of October, very likely warmer than normal temperatures headed our way. So get used to the 80s. They're going to be here for a while. You see a couple of nice days here in the 70s, but there's the 80s.